Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you some tips and strategies, things that have worked for me to calm my irritated skin down quickly. <laughs> I do have sensitive skin and I test a lot of skincare products here for my YouTube channel, right? So I, I do get irritated skin pretty frequently, honestly. And I have learned throughout the years what works for my skin, what helps get my skin back in shape quickly, what helps it calm the F down. And so I want to share with you some of these strategies and tips. Some of them are going to sound very familiar from a lot of the advice that I talk about on this channel, because everything about skin health really is related, but I really do want to narrow it down to calming the skin down very, very quickly. So if you are so ready to find out my tips, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So my first tip for you is to cleanse gently. You really want to approach every cleanse that you do throughout your day in a very gentle manner. Um, this is really important because even when your skin is healthy, if you're cleansing a lot, if you're using harsh products, it's actually really easy for you to strip away essential moisture from your skin. The moisture that you actually need, not like the excessive oil, but like the moisture that your skin actually needs. And it's actually really easy to disrupt your skin microbiome to disrupt your skin's acid mantle and you know it does start to affect your skin's moisture barrier too everything is connected so gentle cleansing is always important but when your skin is vulnerable and irritated it's even more important so you may want to approach like morning cleansing when you're not working through lots of like makeup or sunscreen or lots of like dirt and pollution and like built up sebum on the skin Ugh, you know what I'm talking about in the morning you're not necessarily doing all of that so you may want to approach Approach your cleanse with just water. I love to wash my face with just water and a washcloth all the time, but especially when my skin is irritated, I don't use any cleanser um, because when it's irritated, even the gentlest cleansers can sometimes increase the inflammation on my skin. So I go really, really gentle. If I have to use something, I will opt for micellar water um, over like a traditional foaming cleanser, even gentle low pH ones. Um, if you just have to cut through a little bit of oil on your skin or you just want a little bit more than water, try that because the surfactants in micellar water are a lot more gentle than what you'll find in foaming cleansers. Now in the nighttime, I know that you need to go in for a little bit more of a cleanse, right? Um, one thing I might opt for is a milk cleanser. These are great because they don't foam up. So they don't have those harsh surfactants that can strip your skin, but they actually infuse your skin with quite a bit of moisture. And when my skin gets very irritated, it does tend to get a little bit more dry and it responds really well to moisture. Like moisture really calms irritation on my personal skin. Everybody's a little bit different, but it might be worth exploring a milk cleanser as a very, very gentle alternative that skips the harsh surfactants and all the foam, but um, just like imparts a nice delicate moisture onto your skin and really helps to calm it down. Milk cleansers that I really like include the Stradia Velvet Cleansing Milk, and I really like the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Now, if you really need foaming cleanser to get in there and clean your skin. Look, I, I totally understand. I feel that way often too. You definitely want to look for the gentlest one around. Look for no fragrances, no essential oils, no drying alcohols, and look for a product that does have a low pH coming in around 5.5. Those are all kind of like markers that will get you kind of close to finding a really gentle um, cleanser. It's always a little bit different for everybody. Like your mileage may vary, but one that I really like that I do find to be very gentle is the Bioderma Sensibio Cleansing Gel. Now, when my skin is inflamed and I want to calm it down quickly, I'm reaching for masks. These are really like my emergency skincare products that I have on hand to calm my skin down quickly. So I have a few that I really like that I, I keep around on a regular basis. And the first one is the Bioderma Sensibio Mask. Just overall, the Sensibio line from Bioderma is a great one if you are going through irritation 
hesitation because it doesn't contain any fragrances. But I love this mask. It looks so boring. It doesn't look like it's gonna do much for you, but there's something special here. And they are using an extract of licorice root. And this actually has strong calming properties for the skin. It can really soothe inflammation. It's actually used to treat atopic dermatitis. Um, it's also just so good when your skin is itchy and inflamed. It really gets in there and helps with any of the symptoms that you're having with sensitivity. So that's really the secret ingredient here. Um, but it's this calming, creamy wash off mask. And it really only takes like 10 minutes and it just very gently infuses your skin with that calming moisture. It feels like like a nice warm blanket on a cold day. You know, when your skin is so vulnerable, it just like envelops it with not greasy. It's not greasy. It's not super rich, but just like that nice balancing moisture. It feels so good. Um, so I'll put this all over my face and within like, it takes 10 minutes for the mask, but like within three to five minutes, I'm already feeling relief. Like it works very fast. So I'm always grabbing this one when I have a lot of that irritation. And I know that like a little bit of moisture is going to help soothe that. That's what this mask is for. Now, here's a tip for you when it comes to to wash off masks. If you're feeling a lot of irritation on your skin, dryness or dehydration, you may wanna use a wash off mask when you shower because the hot water actually can increase the moisture loss and can increase the inflammation and thus the irritation that you're feeling. So it may be worth putting on a nice thick wash off mask to help kind of protect and shield your skin from the water as you're washing up. And it's a great two for one bonus too, it saves you a lot of time. You've taken your shower and you did a mask and you took care of your skin and you helped with your irritation all at the same time. When you have a lot of dehydration and it's resulting in like itchy, irritated skin and you know you want a lot of hydration, this next one's for you. It's the Benton Goodbye Centella Mask Pack. This has Centella water plus the four active compounds of Centella. So you know this has so much of the Centella soothing benefit in it. This lives up to the name too. So if you have like the sensitivity and the irritation with a lot of redness on your skin, this calms redness and inflammation immediately. Like once you take this mask off, you will notice that the redness is calmed down significantly. Now, sometimes when my skin gets really irritated and the inflammation is pretty high, I start to break out. Like on top of everything else, I'm getting these like irritated under the skin pimples. This mask helps with that too. This really helps to facilitate the repair and the um, the healing process with pimples. It soothes them. It takes the redness down. It takes the inflammation, the swelling down. And I just find that like time after time when I use this mask and I have inflamed pimples, the next day after using the mask, they're so much calmer. They're so much smaller and they look so much better. They don't look angry and red anymore. So um, this is another mask for a slightly different irritated situation that I will go towards with instant results. Now, another strategy that I abide by when my skin is in an irritated state is no stimulating ingredients. You know, it is kind of like difficult to, to do that because you're like, well, I'm breaking out. I have goals with like, you know, helping with my acne. I have well aging goals. I want to target my fine lines and wrinkles or, you know, I have so much texture and congestion or a dull complexion. I have to work on brightening. You know, you, you kind of think that way and you're like, well, I can't give up these products because I get so many benefits from them. If I take a step back, my skin is going to like revert back to its to the state where it wasn't so good. Right. I used to think like that too. Um, and then going through quite a bit of issues with like um, problems with essential oils. I had like a pretty bad reaction to essential oils. Um, having my moisture barrier damaged. These are all things that taught me that taking a step back from these ingredients actually helps your skin heal faster. And so I always abide by that strategy when I'm even feeling a little bit of irritation on my skin. Because the thing about irritation is if you let it go unchecked, if you keep pushing your vulnerable skin, it's gonna get worse, right? If you catch it early on, that's when you can calm it down quickly. And that's when you can get it out of your life a lot faster. And it's not this big thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel like bad if you take a step back from what you consider your skin goals. Consider that your current skin goal when your skin is irritated is just to soothe your skin and strengthen it up. And then you can get back to all of those other, you know, anti-acne, those brightening, those well-aging products a lot sooner. So irritation comes in 
in many shapes and sizes, just like everybody, right? It is a little bit more individual, and this is where that your, your mileage may vary phrase really comes into play. But I do feel like when my skin is irritated, depending on the type of irritation that I have, it tends to really respond to a lot of hydration, or it tends to respond to a lot of moisture, or some balance of both. So you kind of have to figure out what works for your skin, but I do find that you can get a lot of relief with lots of hydration and lots of moisture. So if you feel like you need more hydration in your skin, maybe you have a lot of dehydration and that's causing irritation, focus on hydrating toners that don't contain like brightening ingredients or exfoliants. Some favorites of mine include, you know, the Make Preem Essence Toner, and I also really like the Soon Jung Centella Relief Toner. Now, if your skin really responds to moisture when it's feeling irritated, like it feels very dry and itchy, uh, you may like the Dr. Seracle Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence or the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. Now, here's a tip for you based on the products that I just recommended, because maybe you don't have sheet masks on hand or you don't want to go out and buy a wash off mask, but you like the idea of like a quick mask to really target your irritation. Well, you can use your toners or your essences to create your own sheet mask. And what's so great about this is it really helps to kind of like enhance um, the benefits of the hydration or the moisture in the products that you're currently using. So all you need to do and it's very inexpensive, is you need to get your hands on some five layer cotton. In a pinch, you can use regular old cotton pads, but I love five layer cotton because it's very thin. It's made exactly for this. It's pliable and stretchable so you can fit it to your face a lot better. And it really um, takes in like any of the watery type of skincare that you're gonna put onto it without like, you know, wasting a ton of it. So all you need to do is saturate the five layer cotton or whatever cotton product that you have with your toner or your essence, maybe a really watery type of serum, really saturate it. And then you put place the cotton all over your face, just like a sheet mask. So this is like a do it yourself sheet mask. It's a lot less expensive than investing in individual sheet masks or going out and buying a wash off. But the cotton actually holds the toner or the essence or the serum into your skin, allowing Allowing it to penetrate into your skin a little bit deeper, allowing the hydration, the moisture, maybe even some of the calming elements in the formula to go in deeper and really target the irritation. So this is a great way if you're on a tight budget to um, get that sheet masking targeted effect without spending a lot of money. When you have sensitive skin, you are going to have your arsenal of skin soothing heroes that you will never be without. <laughs> These are the products that deliver time after time after time. And I have my own arsenal of sensitive skin soothers and I'm gonna share them with you now because this is what I'm grabbing when my skin is irritated. So first up is the Neod Modulating Glucoside Serum. Of course, you hear me talk about it a lot because it is one of those products I will never be without. Once I discovered it, it was like love at first use. This is so good at calming the skin down fast. This actually, like not all calming skincare works immediately. This actually works on contact. It's actually like a miracle in a bottle. So really here, the secret sauce, because there's actually a lot in the formula. Neod is a very uh, kind of a complicated brand. They really do formulate in a multi-layered, multi-beneficial approach. But when it comes to irritated skin, there is one specific ingredient here. It's called Simcitive on the ingredients list. I'm gonna highlight it in red right now. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Um, but this is the ingredient. Um, and what this does, it is a cell communicating ingredient that intercepts and blocks the signal of irritation before it hits your neuroreceptors. That sounds really fancy, but basically that is just the way of saying that it actually stops the, the sensation of irritation on contact amazing, right? It's not just a formula for sensitive skin. It actually, like I said, it's kind of that multi-beneficial approach. It's great if you're just working on skin health and strengthening your skin, but maybe not like super moisture barrier focused, right? This is a great um, formula for that. It's a great, what I call insurance policy. Um, if you're somebody who uses like retinol or tretinoin on a regular basis and you want to kind of sidestep some of that irritation and the side effects, use this like um, on the nights when you're using using that, or even when you're using like um, potent chemical exfoliants like AHA and BHA, it's an insurance policy type of product that can help with side effects. And it's got this like a nice emulsion texture. It kind of looks like 
I don't know, like creamy mustard, <laughs> but it feels amazing on the skin because it's actually really hydrating. And then it's got this nice like moisture element to it that feels so balancing on the skin. And remember how I was saying like some skin responds to hydration, some to moisture in different amounts when you're irritated. This just always feels comforting on the skin, just in the texture. But that immediate relief, like I can't stop raving about it. It is so, so helpful when your skin is irritated this helps immediately. I have to mention the Ordinary Pycnogenol. Now, this is um, a really potent antioxidant. You're gonna see it on the ingredients list as Pinus Pinaster Bark Extract. And it is marketed as a really good antioxidant that's great for skin repair and skin you know, protecting abilities. But this actually has some other benefits that don't always get touted, but I think are really important if you are going through irritation. Number one, it helps to increase the hydration hydration of the skin and it helps your skin retain hydration. So another, you know, thing that I've been talking about a lot in this video is if your skin is dehydrated and irritated, this could be worth looking into because this is something that helps increase hydration and then helps hug the hydration in. But it also has this really amazing skin soothing effect. It's amazing for inflamed skin. And I was really surprised that this product soothed my skin because it's it wasn't on my radar when I tried it, I knew that this was a strong antioxidant. Um, but when I tried it, I was like, hey, this really is calming down my sensitive skin. Like this feels so soothing and so comforting on my skin. It's almost like it's not an oil, but it has like a dry oil type of texture. So it's not going to be for everybody. There is some moisture to this. It's not super, super moisturizing, but it's got that oil type of feel to it. Um, quickly absorbed in the skin, but it does have um, this orangey color to it. Um, once it's absorbed in the skin, it does not transfer onto your clothing. I have not found that to be the case, but if you dropped it on your clothing, like when you're applying it, if it dripped, it might stain. So you wanna be a little bit careful with this one. But besides for the like more interesting texture, this really helps soothe the skin. So I don't want to spend the whole video talking about different serums and essences and all that. I do have a few more product recommendations for you, but if you're really looking to deep dive into all of my favorite sensitive skin care products, I did recently um, line up my holy grails for sensitive skin in this video here. Um, and I'll put it in the description box too. So you can check that out if you need a little bit more recommendations. Now, when it comes to calming down irritation quickly, you must have an anti anti-irritation cream on hand. You know, um, I love the serums that I just talked about and I really do think that building in some like hydration and moisture earlier into your skincare routine, gentle cleansing, these are all important things that you don't really wanna miss in your like whole strategy to calm your skin down quickly. But I do think a huge foundational piece is an anti-irritation cream. So the first one is a good old classic. It is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. This works so good. Um, this uses matacasticide, which is one of the active compounds found in Centella. And matacasticide, I mean, think about it as like the most highly concentrated, like, Centella Soothing Balm because it has all of the soothing, wound healing, skin repairing benefits all in matacasticide. It's paired with Panthenol, which is great um, for your skin barrier, for skin health. And this also has zinc and copper gluconate. Now these are ingredients that actually help to facilitate skin repair. They're great for wound healing. So this formula is really focused on repairing damaged and irritated skin and it does it beautifully. Every time I apply this to my skin, I get that immediate soothing relief. And that's really, I think, what you need to look for in your calming products if you're looking to calm your irritation quickly. Because there are a lot of calming products that work over time with continuous use, and they have their uses. They have their place in skincare. But when you're kind of in that emergency state of irritation, you need the immediate relief, right? And this not only gives the immediate relief, but kind of like the Neod, it works over time to strengthen your skin. It works over time to repair your skin. Now the texture is interesting because I call it like a thick light cream. <laughs> And what I mean by that is it looks quite thick when you squeeze it out and actually kind of reminds me of like sunscreen because you know with sunscreen how you kind of have to like warm it up and really kind of like work it into your skin before it starts to absorb. That's kind of how this feels. It's a little bit different. You might be like, oh my gosh, this is really thick. But once it kind of warms up under your fingers, it actually kind of like gives this like 
melting sensation and then it just starts to absorb really quickly and easily surprisingly a little hit of hydration on this cream you get a little bit of that hydrated feel and then you get some nice rich moisture but it actually absorbs into your skin in a light um, a light but occlusive and protective layer like it's just not very heavy and thick on the skin but it does like don't get me wrong it does kind of lock it in there is a good amount of moisture it's just kind of in a lighter feel on the skin it's very interesting texture um, this feels amazing it really soothes irritation this is something that helps me get through eczema flare-ups I actually use this when my lips are incredibly chapped irritated and dry I use this just whenever I feel general irritation on my skin I use this a lot for tretinoin irritation too like it really does stand up to a lot of different like inflammation and irritation based conditions now I also have to talk about the Avene C Calfate cream now I have a real up and down relationship with this cream but honestly it's been benefiting me so much recently that I was like falling back in love with it um, and the reason why I have an up and down relationship with it is because it's sometimes not quite the right texture for my skin because because it's so thick. <laughs> this is not like the La Roche Posay where it looks thick, but then it, it, it actually kind of transforms on the skin. This looks thick and it feels thick. This is really targeted towards very dry skin. And while I do complain about dryness a lot, I'm actually very prone to congestion on my skin. So there's a very fine line for me. Of course there is, right? It's like whatever feels really moisturizing and good is like sometimes like clogging my pores. And that's kind of how I felt about this cream when I first tried it out. I'm like, this isn't quite right for me I like it but it's not quite right for me but um, I actually um, was going through some irritation again recently and I was feeling incredibly dry inflamed and irritated around my chin area and um, I knew that I just needed lots and lots of moisture and a good amount of occlusivity and that's what this cream delivers a lot of moisture a lot of occlusivity in like a medium to almost thick kind of feel and that's exactly the kind of of protection that that irritation needed so you see how like even with sensitive skin it's not always the same type of irritation so you do really need to tune into your skin and kind of like know what is going to really treat that in the moment is it going to be lots of hydration is it going to be like lots of centella or is it going to just be like plain old thick moisture and occlusivity and this particular situation really called for plain old moisture and occlusivity this is focusing on repairing the skin we do have zinc and copper are showing up again and remember i was talking about how they really help to facilitate skin repair that's the magic to this so it, it actually doesn't show up as like a fancy um skincare like trendy skincare ingredient it's just like plain old um zinc and copper we've got thermal water in here which actually helps with your skin microbiome it's got lots of vitamins and minerals for the skin um there's some like postbiotic um ingredients in here too that really focus on that microbiome which it helps with a healthy skin barrier i do have a video on this if you want to check it out um but everything is linked so this is just about healthy skin this is about skin repair and it's about a whole lot of moisture <laughs> now we know we're building quite a community of sensitive skin folks so I know you have some amazing advice to share with all of us in the comment box below all of your tips for calming your skin down quickly let us know in the comments and if you love this video you want to see some more from me please do consider hitting subscribe if you haven't already I do actually release a lot of new content throughout the week so consider turning on notifications too so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.